Yo guys, what's up? Kyle in here and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we have Foot Champs Rewards for you guys. If I win the last, well one of the last two games, I will end up finishing rank 5. I did end up bottling weekendy pretty hard, but I'll talk more about that at the end of the video. This is a team that I have used throughout the whole of Weekend League. People that I want to replace, pretty much Deadly King, and the rest of the team is, is pretty much okay to be honest with you. So, heading into one of the two games left, obviously if I win this game I'll just give the win away. But this guy does have a pretty good team, he's got Potum Mbappe like everybody else does. And he's actually gone ahead and done the Kaka SPC, which is pretty surprising. But I have been experiencing quite a few problems against that card. So we'll see how it goes, let's head into the first game and hopefully we can come away with a win. So heading into the first clip, Firmino gets that into Sergio Busquets. I wanted to go for the power shot. Smalling comes in with a good block. We get very lucky there, but a good finish from Rodrigo. And we do end up taking the lead. It's 1-0 in this game. Moving on to the next clip, can we maybe get a second goal? De Bruyne gets that into Busquets, moves it on to Modric. Great ball through for Antonio Tinatale, who gets around Smalling, cuts it back. Here's Firmino. Lovely bit of skill and he finds the bottom corner from that camp position. By the way, if you guys want custom tactics, etc., I don't think I show it in this video. But if you guys want to see it in general, let me know down below in the comment section and I will get that video out to you guys as soon as possible. Anyway, can we maybe get a third shot? Natale has it and I'm going to go for the ambitious pass. What a pass that is. Absolutely sensational pass from Di Natale and Rodrigo, surprisingly enough, manages to loop the header over the goalkeeper and into the back of the net. Here again though, De Bruyne and Rodrigo with some brilliant interplay. Di Natale is in the box, Firmino is right next to him. He finds Firmino, I'm going to go for the power shot, and it's 4-0 within the first 33 minutes, and surely now we are well on our way to rank 5. We're not done just yet though, this guy gives us possession, Firmino does very well to control that, little bit of skill, heads it onto Rodrigo, Rodrigo finds Kevin De Bruyne, Cafu on the overlap, a little fake shot to create the space to find Cafu, and Cafu finds Busquets of all players with a cracking finish, snatches it into the near post, I paused this guy to quit, he didn't end up quitting, so maybe we can make him quit right now. De Bruyne skips away from Wijnaldum, he finds Rodrigo, and you know what, I see Di Natale making that run, that is another beautiful pass, and Di Natale, and De Bruyne, and it's 6, and surely now this guy ends up quitting, it's 6-0 and it's half time bro, you're not going to catch up, please quit, he does quit, and now, well, we pretty much have the required points to finish rank 5, and as you will see, we did end up finishing rank 5, ended up going 10 in 8 if I'm not mistaken, I just, sorry, 11 in 8 ended up giving the last game away and like I said, we do end up finishing rank 5. So I was actually 9 in 4 at a stage and I thought it was a pretty simple rank 5 and maybe even I could end up getting rank 4. But not the case, I ended up going on a losing streak and eventually I had 3 games left where I needed to get 2 wins from the 3 and I pretty much ended up winning the first one and the second one so I was able to give the last game away to some lucky guy who was pretty much able to get the win given to him. So with the rank 5 rewards we get 1 of 2 84 plus rare gold player picks and 1 of 3 91 plus major league tots red player pick and we get a Fufi K pack and an ultimate pack as well as qualification points and 30,000 coins. So. From the 84 plus player picks i'm going to open those first and then open the reds obviously because that's usually how it works so from the 84 plus i'm not really expecting anything major to be honest with you i mean these things never really pay out but I, you never know shape shifters are in packs hopefully we can maybe get one or two here and there so from the first one i'm going to go ahead and pop it open and we are going to end up getting a duplicate jamie body and valverde nothing too special but I'm going to take Valverde because I really don't feel like going and crafting a whole SPC just so that I can keep Jamie Vardy. So it's one rating, whatever. I'll just take Valverde. And from the second one, we end up getting Chesney. Decent. It's a walkout. I'll take that. And now, moving on to the main part of this video, the red player picks. Honestly, this is the part I look forward to the most throughout all of Weekend League. This is the only reason I play Weekend League. And we do end up getting Ismail Benasser. This guy is honestly pretty decent. I did try his card, I did review him. If you guys want to see that video, it is on the channel. But yeah, like I said, Benasser from the first one and from the second one, we get... Oh, 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 damn. Okay, that is actually pretty solid. Nuno Mendes, Ruben Diaz, Harry Kane. Now, I'm not going to take Nuno Mendes because I have Balde and Nuno doesn't fit my team at all. Ruben Diaz is the player I'm going to go for because, as I said at the start of this video, 
Let the King is the only player in my team that I want to replace because the rest of the team worked out pretty much perfectly. I feel like Diaz is a perfect upgrade from King and okay, well, he's for some reason selling on the transfer market, but his blue card is going for around 500 to 600,000 coins. Now, a lot of you might be wondering why I didn't take Harry Kane and that's purely down to the players that I have in my team. I don't need a striker. I have Firmino, I have Lewandowski, Di Natale can't play striker. Martinelli can play left wing if I do put in Italy striker, so I don't need Harry Kane. Lewandowski is there, and in my opinion, Lewandowski is better than Kane in this game. That Tots Kane is very good, but yeah, like I was saying, Lewandowski is just absolutely insane. He doesn't play at the moment because Firmino does take the starting spot for me for now because of Premier League links that I don't have. But now, with Diaz in the team, he's gonna slot right into where Ledley King was. By the way, all these packs I'm opening. Are from the foot champions objectives you end up playing I think so many games and you end up winning so many games and you end up getting so many different packs so these are this those packs that I'm ripping open right now to 84 plus players pack hopefully we can get something decent from this I mean the rest have been pretty terrible I don't think I've gotten a single walkout yet from all of these packs previously in Talon Hoku from this absolutely terrible but moving on to the next pack of 384 plus players pack surely you guys are giving me Pogba. Pogba! It's an 84 plus times 3 and you give me Pogba and Patrick Schick. Okay, I'm just going to discard those two and we're going to go ahead and open the actual packs from Weekend League and hopefully we can get someone that actually sells for something. So from the 50k pack, I'm going to go ahead and rip it open and hopefully we are going to end up getting a shape here because we are not. It's Portuguese, Ronaldo. No, it's not. It is Ruben Diaz. This guy will not leave me alone today. So, Red Diaz, Gold Diaz, get into the club. Maybe, who knows, maybe I'll play him instead of my Red Diaz. I mean, you never know. That's a pretty solid pack, to be honest with you. We get Diaz, De Gea, and Thiago Silva. Three walkouts from a 50k pack. I will definitely, definitely take that. Just going to send those guys up to the transfer list. Actually, I don't need a limited Doris card. Thank you very much. Just going to discard him and move on to the ultimate pack. Hopefully, we can see a shapeshifter. Give me that green flare or pink flare, whatever flare it is. I haven't packed any yet. As you can clearly tell. So from the ultimate pack, we end up getting a gold walkout in the form of Kalo Navas. Pop him in the 90 SPC. Um, Kalo Navas, I'll take that. It's a walkout, 88 rated, anything else behind him? No. Okay, the 50k pack was better than the ultimate pack. That makes so much sense. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're going to send all these guys and set the Libertadores cards up to the transfer list so that I can spam some upgrade SPCs. Now, this was the team you guys saw at the start of the video. Like I did say, I didn't take Harry Kane because as you can see on the bench, I've got Lewandowski and I've got Firmino in at that striker position. I've also got Martinelli who can play left wing if I move to Italia to striker. But this is the team right now. Like I said, Ruben Diaz fits in the team absolutely perfectly. He just slots in to the right centre back position where King was. Bremer remains on full chemistry. Diaz was actually on two camp. But with a Portuguese Prem manager, he does end up going and getting full chemistry. By the way, I did start this weekend league at 12 and I ended up finishing it at like half past 3 in the morning because I didn't know weekend league ended on Monday morning now. I thought it was still set to end on Tuesday. So once I finished qualifiers at like half past 11, at like, sorry, quarter to 12, I thought, okay, I have enough time. I can go and play a couple weekend league games. Then I see it expires in eight hours and I'm like, oh, damn. But yeah, this is the team I will be using from now for the next week in league unless of course I get a huge pull from any of the icon packs. But yeah, if you like this video, smash the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until then guys, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.